He played on Viola's team. Amen. They went to the final four. Last year, he was the player of the year. Last year, as a high school student, when they interviewed him, he spoke so eloquently, articulately, well poised, confident. And then to see him go to Loyola, ESPN, WGN, all over the place, it's all because somebody invested in him. Somebody prayed for him. And what I want our young people to hear today and see today, you don't have to wait until you're old to get it right. And so he's gonna come and share his own testimony, amen? To motivate our young people, and then he even motivates some of us, not so old, not so old people, amen? Brother Luke. Good morning. I would like to thank all you guys for having me here, and it's a blessing and an opportunity to be able to share my story in front of you guys. So, um, I was asked to share how um, listening, learning, and leadership has impacted my success in my life. And it's ironic because um, all three of those factors are literally the only reason why I'm successful, including God. And ironically, I'm sharing the story in a, in a place of worship. So um, I would like to start off in, in high school um, because as the older I got, I realized that listening and learning, they help you to become a leader. And um, leadership is the ultimate goal. So in high school, my freshman year, I remember all I wanted to do was just make the varsity team and um, I, was, I was nervous going to school, talking to coach, I was nervous, but um, ultimately I was blessed to, to make the varsity team and that year I pretty much learned as much as I can from both seniors. Uh, I was blessed to play with um, some guys you might know, like Jalil Okafor, Paul White, and Miles Reynolds, people that you know went on to do great things in college and, and even Jalil is in the pros now. And um, I really just wanted to learn as much as I possibly could from those guys and be able to reciprocate what they did that year. And that year we ended up winning the state championship. And, um, and I remember, and I was telling my family this, I was like, I want to be able to do this again. I want to be able to accept this going to be my team with my guys. So luckily, I learned from that year, and I remembered that feeling until my senior year of high school. And I had learned from the past two years, and we didn't make it as far, but I had learned from those seniors what not to do, and I remember what to do my freshman year, and ultimately I was able to lead my team to win another state championship my senior year. And I say that because it wasn't easy by no means, but I just remembered all that I had learned through those first three years, and I knew that what I, what I knew what was in front of me, the task in front of me that was going to be hard, but through hard work, belief in God, belief in my teammates, belief in what I was doing, we could make it. And then transferring on over to college, and it's really a blessing because I keep, me and my mom, mother had this conversation many times over because my recruiting process into going into college was, it wasn't, the, the easiest. I had no idea where I was going to go around June, not June, but like around April of senior year. And I had no idea where I was going to go for college. And Loyola, they didn't have any scholarships available. And during the season, they had already signed the guys that they wanted. And then when the season had ended, somebody had ended up leaving the team. So they really didn't even have a, a scholarship available for my class. But luckily, somebody had ended up leaving. So for me to even be at the position I'm at, I know that God is working in places that I cannot see. Because for Loyola to open up a scholarship and then all of a sudden come after me when I had no, didn't know where I was going, and then um, and just through trusting God's plan, I talk about God's plan all the time, trusting God's plan, trusting that He knows best, He knows what's better for me, I go to a little school that nobody really knew about, Loyola, and what do you know, we all of a sudden make it to the Final Four. And, and that, that process was, was 
another long, hard process, but it was worth it in the end. Um, I remember after every game we played in, in a tournament, the reporters would come asking me, like, how does it feel? How does it feel? How does it feel? And I would be like, it's just a blessing. It's, it's just a blessing to even be in this opportunity, to even be able to, to play in front of all these people, to be on this scale, on the biggest stage, and living my dreams. It's, it's an absolute blessing, because I knew where I came from, and I knew that literally a year ago, I had no idea where I was going to go to college. And even to be playing Division One basketball is a blessing. So I was literally, I would just take in every single moment and cherish it, and I know that all glory to God, because I wouldn't be here without him. So, so going back on my point to where li learning, uh, listening, learning, and leadership, how that played a role in, in my success, all of this wouldn't have happened if I wasn't didn't come from humble beginnings from my parents. I would if I didn't listen to what they were teaching me. If I didn't listen to anything that my coaches were telling me. If I didn't um, learn anything from from those guys I was talking about my uh, my freshman year in high school. I wouldn't have known how to how to win. I wouldn't have known how to do the things that I do today at the highest level. So um, I just really took in every single opportunity that I had. Know that the people that I came in contact with were blessings and they all wanted me to succeed in life so I just took in every little thing that I could and ultimately turned it around and was able to lead um, my teams and put my uh, my input on different situations and help my team win so that is my story to this point today there's more in store for me I know through the power of God but I want to thank you guys for listening to me and thank you for having me today and that's it. Yeah. Yeah. And that stretch for you coming, brother Luke. Luke, brother Luke, brother Luke. Yeah. Stretch for your hands. Let's pray for this, brother. Father, we love you. We thank you, God. We thank you that you have blessed this young man. Father, you've gifted him, Lord. You have prepared him with a mind. Academically, you've prepared him with a body athletically. Lord, we pray that you would use him in a supernatural way, Lord God, to continue to prosper in everything that he does. Lord God, we pray that you continue to make ways out of no ways. Lord, continue, Lord God, to give him the discernment and the wisdom to make wise choices and wise decisions. Lord, let him be the light to this community of our young people that, yes, you can be more than a rapper. Yes, you can be more than a drug dealer, that you can do anything when you put your mind on Christ Jesus. So Father we thank you for him. We thank you for his family and we pray Lord you continue to be the center of his life. We love you for him. Encamp your angels around him and Father take him as high as your will has already predetermined and Lord just help him to keep his mind stayed on you. It's in Jesus name we pray. Amen and amen and amen.